Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Toyota Tacoma mod compilation haul, whatever you want to call it, Amazon edition video where I'm basically going to get a bunch of new mods or a bunch of stuff from Amazon specifically for my Toyota Tacoma. Amazon's a great place. I mean, for my everyday life, I really like that you can get things fast, you can get free shipping, and because there's like so many options out there, you could typically find stuff for pretty cheap. Now the catch to that is a lot of times the cheap stuff is regarded as low quality. There's a lot of dupes for every product that are probably all coming out of the same factory but have a different company's name on it. But the thing is, yeah, stuff is cheap, but I think we're gonna be able to find some good finds on there for my truck and finding stuff on a budget's really nice, especially because these builds can get so, so expensive. So we are not gonna be looking for any big ticket, super expensive items off of Amazon today, just a bunch of little small things. In fact, I ended up buying four different mods from Amazon for under $200, which is a pretty good deal. But yeah, I just wanna see how these products are since I typically don't buy a lot from Amazon when it comes to my Tacoma, reviewing these things. And then at the end of the video, of course, letting you you guys know what I think about using Amazon as a source for purchasing your Toyota Tacoma products. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm not looking for anything specific here on Amazon. I'm kind of just window shopping, but at the same time, I wanna see if I can find things that I'm going to plausibly put on my truck. Like, I don't wanna just get things to get things. I wanna see if there's stuff I like for my truck out there. Now, also, I'm gonna be looking for good deals. This is going to be a pretty budget shopping trip. At least for me, that's one of the big reasons I like Amazon is the low prices. Okay, so I have an incognito window open here to the Amazon homepage. The reason for that is I really don't want any of my previous search history influencing the Amazon algorithm. I kind of just want to see what shows up when I type in Tacoma mods, despite what I've searched before. So let's search. Okay, lots of ads for Pedal Commander and other throttle response thingies. This thing kind of looks cool, but this is for second gen. I also like don't have a use for this. I know Miso Customs has one of these things that looks way cooler than this one. It's just that I'd be looking for things to put on this and I feel like that's not a good reason to get something. Okay, bed lights, not too bad. Unfortunately, my 2019 doesn't have the cutouts for that, so we can't do those and I would have done them already. Okay, so I've had a couple different sets of these Amazon interior lights. I found that before the color temperature doesn't always match, which is kind of annoying, and I've had two different sets go out on me. So I decided not to cheap out, and I went with VLADs. They have a whole kit for the Tacoma, and those ones have been great so far. Ooh, this is one of my favorite mods. I already have this. Sorry guys, I know we're moving so slow. We haven't even looked at anything, but you guys know I've made lots of different videos about the seat jackers, and if you haven't tried them, they make your seat really really comfortable okay now here's something interesting these are like these event ring covers I'm gonna check this one out oh look we can even save two dollars on this and the idea with this I think is right here you can see there's like these chrome rings that come factory and you can get these covers that will black them out is this like a sticker? Because I've been interested in getting something like this, but I'm not really interested in taking apart my dash. Oh look, just peels off, just peels, okay. Off the double-sided tape and apply the ring cover to the air conditioner vent outer ring. Okay, I kind of feel like I should try these. Now, I'm gonna go with black and I don't know the difference between the inner and the outer ring. Which one covers up the chrome? Oh, geez, it says right here on the picture. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna do the outer rings if we wanna cover up the chrome. We're definitely gonna save $2. Oh, it looks like it wants me to sign in. I'm just gonna do that at the end. So I'll uncheck that for now. Add to cart. I don't want an auto accessory protection plan for some stickers. Perfect, okay, now let's go back. So we got our first thing, $22, but supposedly we can click this coupon and get two dollars off okay so now here's something interesting raptor lights i don't know how you guys feel about raptor lights i personally am kind of anti-raptor lights i just don't like the look and i don't see the point because our trucks aren't like that wide but so many people always ask me why i haven't gotten a set to be fair i haven't tried them on my truck so <laughs> i'm considering it but i i don't know 
I also have to find ones if we decide to get them that are compatible with the 2020 and up like honeycomb style grill because I think these ones are for if you have like the TRD Pro grill. Oh look, okay, so they do have one for this grill. This is this picture is definitely Photoshop. $43? That sucks. If you have the TRD Pro grill, they're only $25, but this one's $44. Let's see if we can find cheaper ones. All these companies use the same stock image to Photoshop over. Uh, I, oh, okay, $36. <laughs> these are really something I don't know about, but I feel like I'm gonna just do it for the video. I don't wanna just get things to get things. Okay, now what color do we want? Okay, I'm pretty basic, so I'm gonna go with the white light. I'll make sure I do this when I log into my account, but let's, let's, let's add these Raptor lights to my cart. <laughs> All right, so where are we at? We are at, $59, basically like $60 for those two modifications that are purely just for aesthetics. Okay, so now we just wanna go back to looking for Tacoma mods. That's pretty cool, you can order a set of leaf springs on Amazon, I did not know that. Okay, so I have these on my truck and something I wanna say and I hear from a lot of people is that they'd rather have them when they're made out of metal, but you actually don't want the ones that are made out of metal because especially if you live in like a snowy or salty climate, they will rust after one winter, they'll chip. It's better to get just the decal ones. Like they still have ones that are raised decals, but just an FYI, if you're thinking about getting some, I would stray away from the metal. Okay, here's something I don't have, but I was actually thinking about getting this the other day. To be honest, I don't even know why I don't have one of these, but I feel like it'd be really nice, so let's do that. That was easy. All right, now we are at $76. I feel like that's a lot for two products that are really just for aesthetics, and one, I guess, that is actually useful, but whatever. Man, a lot of different of these Amazon sellers sell these Raptor lights. It's pretty crazy. They must be popular. Okay, also, if you're going to get a screen protector, get a screen protect. I'll have a link down below to what that is if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. These covers and everything are fine, but the screen protect will look the best and it's fingerprint proof and it heals if it gets scratched. Okay, I feel like as we're going down and down, it's just more of the same stuff. Oh, this is kind of funny, a blackout steering wheel emblem and they put like this sticker to make it look like a genuine part, but I don't think this is a genuine part. Oh, it's also probably there to cover up the logo so they don't get copyrighted. Yeah, see all these pictures don't have the full logo in it. Bed mat, definitely a necessary mod in my opinion. Although I've seen that you can go to the dealership and get them for sometimes less than $100. So do your shopping around before you buy one on Amazon. Okay, we are on page seven and I'm again, just seeing the same stuff. I'm not really interested in anything else. Hmm, I'm trying to think of other stuff that I can find on Amazon that we haven't really seen already. Oh, you know something I've kind of had in the back of my mind but I haven't gotten yet? A set of tweeters. I have heard that these things make a huge difference, apparently, and it's all plug and play. Were these the ones I saw someone else on YouTube do? I can't remember it. There's like a Tacoma World thread. This is what the OEM ones look like. Okay, I kind of want to do a set of tweeters. I just don't know which ones to get. Or I think these ones are the ones we just saw. Okay, this one has a three star review and only one. This one has a lot of reviews. Hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards these ones because they're only $70 versus this 103. And I feel like 120 reviews and them being four and a half stars is not too bad. And yes, I'm someone who shops on Amazon based off of reviews. And I know that a lot of these companies pay for their reviews, which is shady, but let's see what the one stars. Okay, does not fit, does not fit. Oh yeah, see this guy said it fit his 2020 off-road. I have a 2019, so this should work. Okay, let's get these ones. Okay, cool. I think I'm gonna stop there because as I just kept going through the pages, you guys saw it was just like the same stuff. I'm gonna log into my Amazon account and order these four things and we'll install these on my truck when they get here. All right, so my Amazon packages came. It came in three boxes. So we have 
this package over here, then this smaller one that came in the plastic packaging, and then this really flat one, which I'm pretty sure is like that center console divider thing that folds into it. So let's get to opening this stuff. Okay, so let's start with this guy first. Okay, yep, this was definitely the center console organizer. It's already coming out of the packaging, but that's okay. Now the smaller one, actually these are all perforated. I don't even need to use scissors. Oh, these are our outer rings. Looks like it comes with this little brush too. Okay, now lastly, here's our DS18. And my favorite, not <laughs> looking forward to this one, our Raptor lights. Yep, so here we go. I got <laughs> four different ones. Wiring harness and two of these add a fuse, add a circuit thingies. All right, let's uh, take all these things and put them on the truck. I'm gonna start by installing these ring vent covers. Now these just have like adhesive on the back so we can just peel them and stick. It definitely isn't like matte black because it has like a gloss to it. So you can see they're definitely not chrome anymore, but they are pretty reflective. But I think I kind of like that. It'll be interesting when I do all four to see how the final one looks. But so far, do you guys like these? Okay, so that was probably the easiest Tacoma install I've ever shown on my channel. Okay, you guys will have to let me know what you think of these. I don't necessarily think these look like better, but they're definitely not worse. It's just a completely different look. It's pretty surprising that that changes the look of my truck a lot, or at least the look in my opinion. Maybe it's because I sit in here every day, so I have to look at these things. But yeah, that is the first Amazon mod done. Okay, next we're moving on to the mod that I probably am looking forward to the least. Sorry, you guys, I'm just not as excited about this one, but I am curious to see what these look like. This did not come with instructions, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. We're just gonna open the hood, pop these into the grill, then use this wiring harness. And then I forget if the fuse box has the long blades or like these mini short blade ones, but depending on what it needs, we'll use one of these guys. I do like that I can open up this heavy hood with one hand. Anyways, I think we take these guys and they have like this hook, so I think they just snap in. Yep. So as you can see, I like take them, put them around, and then that bottom part hooks to the grill. Okay, backtracking, I didn't realize this because there weren't instructions and I guess I didn't look carefully enough. You can see these aren't like the same sizes. This one has a cutout right here. That's because this hole in the grill and this hole in the grill near where this sensor is, is not the same shape as this hole and this hole. So I'm gonna restart that. <laughs> I've got to say, you can't really tell they're there unless you look closely. Now I'm gonna take the wiring harness and plug all these guys in. Now I ran the wire into the engine bay and I'm grounding it to the chassis here. And the other end is an out of circuit which will get plugged into the fuse box. So all the videos I saw use this fuse, which is this HLP RH low. I don't want to use any of the EFI ones. And this guy's a 15 amp, but I'm gonna replace it with a five. I highly doubt these Raptor lights draw a lot of current, so let's head to the back of my truck. Okay, 
Okay, here's our 5 amp fuse. Okay, so here we have it. Before we close up the fuse box, let's turn on our headlights and see if these work. And they do. Ugh, you guys, I am not keen on this look if I'm being completely honest with you. Okay, so if you're a Raptor Light fan, you might want to skip this part of the video because a lot of personal opinion I feel like is about to come out. I don't know what to say. Raptor lights look good on a Raptor and not a Tacoma. I'm gonna uninstall these. I am personally not happy with these on my truck. I think maybe the amber would have suited this grill better because I have a lot of white light going on, especially with my Baja designs. And I also have these bumper cube lights that are also in white light. But keeping things unbiased here, the color match isn't perfect to the factory LEDs, but it's not too, too far off. If you are a perfectionist, it might bother you. The other thing I don't really like is that even though these click in, look how easy they come out. I definitely want to know what everyone in general thinks about Raptor lights. These were definitely a really good price, but I kind of think you get what you pay for for these. Okay, you guys, I kind of feel like we're 142 here. The Raptor lights were a no for me, but these blackout ring vent covers, I think are pretty cool. But for this next one, while it might seem simple and boring, I think I'm really gonna like. So this is the glove box organizer and it comes in these three pieces. So there was no instructions that came with this one, but it's kind of self-explanatory. There's specific hole cutouts for the pieces and they'll only fit one way. Then also you can see there's these arrows to help you out. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the glove box, take out everything. By the way, these, not sponsored or anything, are super awesome. These are grind boss wipes, and there's a reason I keep a couple packs in the glove box. Like, you can use these as shop towels because they absorb grease really, really well and grime, but they're also kind of like wet wipes, and they're skin safe, so you can use them on your hands. Yeah, highly recommend these, but anyways. Ooh, hopefully everything I have will fit. I think it will. So the manual will definitely have to go over here. My grind boss wipes can go here. Got this pen, can go under here. Microfiber towel. I got this magnet when I went to Idlewild and met the mayor, who by the way is a dog. And I keep a bunch of my stickers in my truck in case I run into you guys, cause that happens quite often either on the streets, but more often on the trails and stuff. So I like to have these to give out. Okay, the slightly sucky thing is I also had this, which is my backup battery. Because of this case, the only spot this thing will fit in is this big one over here, but obviously the manual takes up this space. I don't think, yeah, that won't work for sure. It does kind of suck that I have to put this somewhere else. I mean, I have a lot of other space in my truck, so I'm fine with not keeping this in the glove box because it's not like I'm reaching for it that often. So for me, this would be an eight out of 10 just because you do lose some space with this organization. But at the same time, hey, doesn't it look pretty nice? Okay, so our factory tweeters are located over here, but to open up this panel, we actually have to take off this A-pillar cover. And to take this guy off, you really wanna use a plastic trim removal tool. However, I don't have one that's thin enough to get underneath here. So I'm using a flathead and I'm being really, really careful not to mar up the plastic. Then that exposes a bolt, which we can remove to take this whole thing off. There's one more over here. Now I can just use a 10 millimeter socket to remove these two bolts. So there's one, there's two. So as you can see, I just pried that apart with my hand. That was it. 
Now I'm taking my plastic trim removal tool to lift this panel up. And with the panel off, you can see our factory tweeter. Now we just take off these two 10 millimeter bolts. Now for this one in the front over here, I'm just gonna use my ratchet. However, my ratchet won't fit to get the one off in the back. So I'm gonna be using this wrench. There's one, and here's two. Now you can see there's this wiring harness that's plugged into the back of the tweeters, so I'm going to detach that. Now there's not a lot of room to work back here, but it does come apart pretty easily. And for this female side of the harness, you really just have to press the side over here and pull. So here's the factory tweeter compared to our one we got from Amazon, this DS181. I mean, this thing right here is like paper and I would say the only component that looks better is the bracket because this bracket is plastic. But anyways, those are the visual differences and I'm really excited to install these ones. Okay, so I know you guys probably don't have the best camera view. Sorry that my A pillar is basically blocking everything, but I'm basically just reversing the steps and putting the new tweeter in. So first plugging in the wiring harness. Then adding back in the two 10 millimeter bolts. Now I'm gonna put all of our panels back. All right, one side down, driver's side to go. I wanted to do a sound test before and after so you guys could get an idea. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect because my camera mic isn't perfect, but it should be consistent throughout. So hopefully you guys and I will hear a difference. Okay, now for some royalty free music. So I don't know if you guys could hear a difference, but in my opinion, these new ones, you can really hear the highs a lot better. Wow, very happy with these tweeters. I always have fun making modifications for you guys, but I think this one was extra fun because there were a bunch of mods in one. I also didn't know what to expect, and I feel like we got a good variety of different specific Toyota Tacoma products from Amazon. So obviously, I haven't used these products long term. I just installed them on my truck, but my initial impressions, I guess are pretty much the same as when I started this. You could get some pretty good small modifications for your Tacoma for a good price and with free of fast shipping. Ranking each modification, we started out with those ring covers. I would give that like a seven out of 10. They were really easy to install. They look good. I'm just wondering if the adhesive will last. And again, let me know if you guys think I should keep those or take them off and stick with the chrome. I'm kind of split on it. I think it looks good either way. I want you guys to decide for me. Then with the Raptor lights, I feel like I can't rate these with out of bias. Okay, I'll be nice. I think they were like a five or six out of 10. The thing is they worked and they were really easy to install. The color was pretty close, although not perfect for the whites. Although I did not like how they clipped in, it was really easy to push them out. I wish they were more secure and I was pretty sure I actually secured them in all the way because I heard them click. But yeah, I could like push them out with one finger. I don't think they would fall off if you were driving, but I wish for a little bit more durability. But for that price, I think a five or six out of 10 is completely fair. Then for the glove box organizer, I think that's like an eight out of 10. Again, my only gripe is you lose space with it, but overall it was pretty good. I don't really have much else to say about it. And then these tweeters, oh my God, you guys, I want to rate these like a nine or 10 out of 10. Sure, they were the most expensive item we purchased, but at the same time, I feel like $70 for what you get is actually pretty good. The only question is, will these last? 
I have no reason not to believe that. But yeah, at least in person, a huge improvement on sound quality. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you rate everything. And also if you've gotten modifications from Tacoma that I didn't get today and what you think about them. If you want to connect more with me, you can follow me on my Instagram. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. I post more in real time on there. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.